is that I think that particularly particularly as black people, um, our power lies in our imagination and the ability to um, imagine our thriving, right? And beyond like our current thriving, um, imagining ourselves old and gray um, many years into the future. And so that's one of the main reasons why this poem is really important to me, but also uh, because it was like the only thing I wrote during the pandemic. So <laughs> um, it's called a, a, a Prayer in Three Parts. Um, and it starts off with two quotes here. We don't want a seat at the table. F the table. The table is full of oppressors. We want a blanket and a pillow down by the ocean. We want to rest. The nap ministry. And come celebrate with me that every day something has tried to kill me mm. and has failed. Lucille Clifton. The fruit bursts between my teeth. The juice trickles from my lips to my chin, dropping to my chest a deep red, as if there is a bullet wound, but there is no pain. My mother, 80 years old and gentler than she was in her previous years, looks at the moment on my chest, touches her own scar in that same place, and asks if I am okay. I do not know how to answer her right now, but I say, I am okay, mommy, anyway, and I want her to believe me. I talk to Brianna and Toyin every single day. We shared the same skin, the same sturdy bones, the same love for our mothers, all of us named by our ancestors and made sacred in one way or another. In this realm, we did not know each other but as they have crossed into the next, we are sisters. I love you, sis. You deserved so much better. Rest, sweet ones. I will carry on the fight. And I know they hear me. I do not have a daughter of my own yet, but I must imagine her, mahogany, bursting with laughter and love for the sweetness of ripe fruit. She will know how to find the Big Dipper by tracing her fingers on her own skin. She will smile at the earth and call it kin. Softness and ease will surround her. And she will pray as the sun rises and sets to all those who came before, to the ones who named her, and to the ones whose song she carries in her heartbeat. And all of the pomegranates will burst for her dripping down her chin and off of her fingers and it will never be blood and she will always be okay. Awesome.